Stand as you're able. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you.
Let us pray. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful and sure. For you have made the city a heap, the fortified city a ruin. The palace of aliens is a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong peoples will glorify you. Cities of ruthless nations will fear you. For you have been a refuge to the poor, a refuge to the needy in their distress, a shelter from the rainstorm and a shade from the heat. When the blast of the ruthless was like a winter rainstorm, the noise of aliens like heat in a dry place, you subdued the heat with the shade of clouds. The song of the ruthless was stilled. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheep that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God shall wipe away the tears from all faces. And the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Holy Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. And he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad, so that the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guest, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. And the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Um, So Jesus is in the temple, uh, still talking to the the temple authorities there, uh, those who would uh, who were not really fans of his, uh, elders, chief priests, others gathered around. Um, So the the temple elite, and he's this is the third parable that he tells. It's probably the hardest of the three that he tells. Um, And in Matthew, we get get some amount of weeping and gnashing of teeth, um, and also outer darkness, uh, which is is pretty bleak. Um, A a couple of things, uh, and I hope that y'all will watch uh, Jody's sermon uh, on YouTube, but just um, one is that I think that if we read this parable as uh, a parable of the kingdom, um, we see that all are invited. Uh, God's invitation to us to participate in the kingdom uh, is, is wide-ranging, uh, all-inclusive, uh, um, and it is uh, always on offer for us. Um, and the other thing is that, uh, you know, God's love for us is not ever coercive. Um, we don't have to take part in the kingdom. Uh, God doesn't coerce us into that. Um, I think sometimes we can make uh, our lives much more uh, difficult than they need to be uh, when we don't uh, order our lives uh, with God uh, in front of us and and atop all things. Um, So two things, God's love is never uh, coercive. Um, You get the guy thrown out of the wedding banquet, which has perplexed uh, scholars for years and years and years. Um, But uh, remember that that Matthew has Jesus talking uh, to some folks uh, that are trying to uh, make religion difficult and onerous and and not all-inclusive and not uh, all-welcoming. Um, but God's love, the kingdom, is always an invitation to us to participate in something so much better uh, than we can even fathom. So I hope we'll remember that, that God doesn't, doesn't coerce us, although we can uh, elect out of it uh, at our peril, um, and that the invitation is always on offer to everyone. Let us stand and affirm the faith of the church in the words of the Nicene Creed. (laughs) 
We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he has given us Prayers of the people are form six found in your bulletin. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace, for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy, for the peace and unity of the Church of God, for all, all who proclaim the gospel, gospel and, all and all who seek, seek the, the truth. truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Brian, our bishop, and for all bishops and ministers, for all who serve God and his church, for the special needs and concerns of this congregation, Hear us, Lord. Your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Pray especially this morning for the repose of the soul of Bert Allen. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. We put your trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most, most merciful, merciful Father. Father. In, in your, your compassion, compassion forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things, things done and left undone. undone. And, and so uphold, uphold us by, by your spirit. spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. with you all this morning. Um, uh, 
may have uh, seen that uh, Bert Allen uh, uh, died yesterday afternoon, uh, and so please keep Dot and, and Bert's family in, in your prayers and Requiem prayers for Bert, of course. Um, no uh, pressing announcements that I know of. Uh, we do have more than a meal coming up uh, next uh, Tuesday, so not the coming Tuesday, but the Tuesday after. Uh, so look uh, out for the announcement about that in the email. And uh, walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. Continue with the great thanksgiving on page five of your bulletin. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For by water and the Holy Spirit, you have made us a new people in Jesus Christ, our Lord, to show forth your glory in all the world. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself 
And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Calling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament serve you in unity, constancy, and peace, and at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith for thanksgiving.
First Communion prayer is on page 7 of your bulletin. In thanksgiving, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and those beloved to you this day and forevermore. Let us go forth in the name of Christ.